All right, family. This is day 11 of the 90 days challenge. 99 problems, but this ain't one. You see, here's the thing. It's a great day. I'm outside. Birds is chirping again. I like being outside. I love being outside. Um, the thing about being out here today is this. I know I missed a day yesterday. The reason why I missed a day yesterday is because I got a little busy caught up doing some other things. Um, my sponsor and mentor came over. We worked on some other pieces of the business and and moved on from there. Now, and again, I take full responsibility for it, and I will make up my video. But here's the thing. I got to thinking about being efficient versus being effective, and I spoke and speaking to my mentor about uh, systems, okay? So my point of today's discussion is this, was why are you wasting your time trying to do one or the other, trying to be more efficient or trying to be more effective. Um, and I'm trying to give you three action steps to help you do both. Okay. Cause in the end, what it really comes down to is actually creating a creating system to help you save yourself some time, energy, and money. So let's begin with talking about the difference between efficiency and being effective. See, being efficient means that I am spending my time, spending the best, the best, most of my time to do something, to take care of some tasks. Okay. So I'm doing the most amount of tasks in a certain given amount of time. Whereas being effective is doing the right tasks to produce the, uh, produce, to make, to produce something, to be productive. So in the end, we have this discussion about whether you're being, you want to be efficient versus being effective. There's a debate about which one you want to be. You really want to be both. Because by trying to just do one or the other, you're actually diminishing both of them. You see, again, when we're building a, uh, building a system, we're creating a system. Spend your time building, creating, and using systems. If you're not adapting one from some other uh, reputable or successful business, or maybe maybe it's even coming down to coming to sports. I mean, if there's a certain there's certain mechanics that come along to being successful in any given sport or any given activity for that matter. Um, there's speed reading systems. There's uh, there's systems for drawing and sketching. There's systems for cooking, of course. You know, <laughs> the point being. By I basically started spinning my wheels when I'm just trying to be efficient. I'm trying to get the most tasks done in this time frame. You know, I'm trying to get I try to get all to have a list of tasks. These things I need to get done. Here's a list of ten things I need to get done. Okay, and I give myself until you know from I come to work at nine o'clock and I give myself to five o'clock for example. I get these ten things I want to get done. Now. I can either be efficient, which means I'm going to try to get, I'm going to get as many of those tasks done as possible, matter, not depending on how well I do those tasks, but that's that I get them accomplished in this time frame. I want to get as many of them done. That's being efficient because I got a lot of things done. I don't know what time I'm being efficient. But now the next person says I'm going to be effective. So I'm going to spend my time, I'm going to take this list of 10 items, I'm going to decide which of these items is going to get, get me the most production over, out of the day, and I'm going to focus on doing that one or two items. Now, here's the thing. In my opinion, the effect of the being effective is much more conducive to, to in, the, in the long term, okay? However, when we have any, a great system, a great system for getting to for being efficient then we start but working effectively okay understand what I'm saying if I have the right system that allows me to get a lot of things done in a shortened time however I'm during those times I'm focusing on the activities that bring the most production it moves me along towards my goal faster but I get a bunch of things done and I can do the most productive things using that system that's what we're trying to create uh, the system that I'm speaking about is what you're going to be using that should be making an efficient and effective 
difference in your business. You should be trying to be efficient and effective. Okay, that is the basic point of here. So here's some three three action steps for you to start be being more efficient and more effective in your business. I got bugs flying around here outside. Okay, one. I want you to look for ways that you can be more efficient with your time. And that means you're going to start writing down your list of things, writing down your list of goals you're going to do for the day, and how much time you have to do for each thing. Yes, that's what you're going to have to do. And you're going to try to create a system for yourself or find one, find some systems that will allow you to be, to get more things done. If that means you need to, part of the system may be delegating certain activities to this person or that person, or it may part of the system might be in figuring out what am I doing? Like, for example, when it comes down to creating uh, my blog post, I have, as I spoke about before, I have a system for the headlines and so forth that I use in order to create my blog. That is a system for being more efficient with my time. But now in order for me to be more effective, I can, I must focus on the topics that I have that are going to do, they're going to produce the most, the most business activity, most uh, leads to my system the most traffic to my site as possible. Okay? So I'm trying to look for ways to be more efficient with your time. That's number one. Number two, need you to be um, effective means productivity. You must understand effectiveness means productivity. Now, if we go back to the Pareto principle, meaning uh, Pareto principle is this Italian guy, he figured some things out. What he figured out was this, that when it comes down to productivity, it will always be the 20% of the people or the things involved 20% of the activities will account for, meaning they will be the result of these doing these, of these 20 things, or 20 people or 20 activities will be the result of those things will be 80% of what you get get 80% of your productivity, 80% of your product. Here it even goes so far as going like this. He's saying, <laughs> and if you think about this for yourself, when you go to a party or something, you realize this. If you have say a cook or a cookout or something like that, you will find out that at the end of the day, 20 people, 20 percent, 20 percent of the people that came to your party, to your cookout, to your barbecue, will have eaten 80 percent of the food. Test me on that. You'll find it out. Now, this isn't just like exactly if you have 10 people, it's going to be two of them. It's 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 an average of 20 percent. So you think about 15 to 25, maybe 30 percent will be the people. Those people will have eaten 80 percent majority of the food there. And you know those people that come to your parties eat all the food. <laughs> so number two, effectiveness means productivity. You're going to focus on the activities, that 20% of your activities that produce the most, uh, uh, they give you the most production towards your goals, in your business or in your life, whatever it may be. Uh, number three, you're going to look for ways to leverage your time, your energy, and money. What that means is find a system. Find a system. So keep coming back here where I'm trying to teach you some systems that I'm using that help me produce more business, that produce more leads, that produce more everything, more free time, more life, more money, all of it. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> all right, this is the end of day 11 of the 90-day challenge. My name is D. Orlando Fortune. I tell you to keep it as simple as A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, Don't raid me.